little warped. Open up these holes a little bit. Just not quite big enough. People wouldn't use these things if they were this shitty. Okay, now we need to wire this stuff back up to here. Doing a little impromptu work on the controller board. I'm gonna try and mount this into the top of the Tupperware container. I've taken it, put it down on its face, and traced it out. I'm gonna cut that out and see what we can come up with. I need to cut a hole in this, run all this stuff through there. So that's pretty self-contained. So what I've decided to do so that I can have this thing sitting in here and not have this wire sticking out like that and have it not be something I can easily disconnect if I need to say pull this thing up and go reprogram the Arduino if I want to change the event. I want to have this so I can disconnect it. So I pulled this power Y splitter for PCs out of a box I have full of a lot of computer components that's been sitting there for years. I haven't used it. I don't really see a need that I'm going to have for it anytime soon. So it has a male connector on it and it also has a female connector and they can connect right to each other. So you've got a nice tight connection there. And what I'm going to do is cut this in half right here and run these wires into the box and connect it to the relay board here. Got four of them, and that's perfect. The connector will be coming out of the box, and then that way I can connect the other end right to this cable, and that way I'll be able to disconnect this whole thing without a big deal. I guess the other issue I hadn't thought about is I'm gonna be able to need to quickly disconnect the PIR sensor. I'm gonna have this going outside. I wanna use a better piece of wire that's gonna be a little more durable than this. So, uh, the wiring continues. Yeah, put some hot glue on the end of this to insulate it. I don't want these things accidentally causing a problem. So before I can wire this up to the relay and then wire this up to the cable, I need to cut a hole in this thing because I need to run these wires through it. Got this little piece of, I don't know what this is, but I used it on my arcade cabinet. This was the top when it mounted all the buttons and everything to it. Got a ton of this left over from years ago a little warped not important so I'm just gonna cut this out to fit in there and then we can mount this stuff to that little piece of stuff this line is gonna suck I'll just go trim this up on my saw so I've become a little disgusted here I've been going through piles of old computer parts got my old thing full of screws when I used to build computers. And these little spacers and RS-232 slash DB9 slash whatever connectors. These are the things you usually screw your monitor on or whatever when you connect your monitor. Little thumb screws go into these deals. Find the stuff that fits that other than themselves. It's a real pain in the ass. They screw on real nice on themselves. Ridiculous. So, screw all this. <laughs> no pun intended. I am just going to use some wood screws. I couldn't find any that are exactly the right size for the holes and the circuit boards, but I'm not going to let that stop me. I'm just going to drill this hole out a little bit bigger, both of these. You know what, I think I'm just going to do two on each one. That's going to be good enough to hold this thing down because I'm beginning to become frustrated with this and losing interest rapidly. I've almost gone back upstairs a couple of times now. <laughs> up these holes a little bit 
just not quite big enough. Well, the screw, the screw holes are a little off, the holes that I drilled. So I'm going to go diagonally here. It's not going anywhere. This screw is just too big for this tiny little area. Alright, that's in. Of course it's ugly on the bottom now. Got this big sticking out. Cut that off with the Dremel. I love when the spark shoot all over the PIR. That's good. <laughs> this damn thing better fit in here now. Why'd you do all that, Montclair? You could have just stuck it to the bottom. Yeah, I could have. Could have used glue, could have used tape, could have done all that stuff. But I didn't. So now it's somewhat organized. Uh, for this one, I'll probably just maybe stick them up here on the side. I just want to be able to get to this. This is an extension cable. So I will connect this onto here. We'll run that out through our hole. Gives us extra cable to work with here. I think this is six foot. Seems like a good size. No way, Jose. I'm not going to have any of that bullshit. Get in here. That'll go to there. This will come out to whatever. I did also hot glue all of my connections down just for some added protection. These. to the Arduino and the relay board. Oh, we switch the ends on braided wire. And learned that in high school electricity class, which is the basis of all of my electronics knowledge. <laughs> no shit. I think you get the picture now, right? I'm going to have a ton of fun editing this one. This video is probably going to be like maybe 10 minutes long. I've been down here for two hours. Piece of shit, I hate these things. They never work well. I don't know what the trick is of these. Maybe it's a crimping tool again. Beats me. I just can't ever seem to get these things to work well. Really don't know the trick. Probably some kind of crimping tool. Something else I don't have. <sighs> Alright, too late now. I say I could put some shrink tubing over that again for a little better protection. Okay, let's seal this up here. I'm just gonna go left to right, so blue, white, red. Maybe this time I'll actually use some of the heat shrink tubing. Got a ton of it. I really hate these things. I absolutely don't like them. Maybe somebody who's watching this knows the trick to these damn things because I don't know what I'm doing wrong and I've never been able to figure them out. You don't do it there. The tube is like in there, the metal. So what is the trick to these things? Is it a special tool? things if they were this shitty. I'm like gonna put something that's gonna give me a friggin' problem on Halloween night, I can tell you that right now. Maybe they're just the wrong size. You're better off just 
putting the damn wires together with the wire nuts. Okay, now we need to wire this stuff back up to here. I think with braided wire, um, with the yellow here, I'm going to strip that a little bit more and go around the screw. I should use the longer one. Is this the female end? It is. Nice, let's use the longer one. That way I've got plenty of wire inside here. That's pretty good. I really need to mount these up. Maybe a little piece of double-sided tape. That is going to be the project box. It ain't pretty inside. Power to the Arduino. We didn't run that in there. Forgot about that. Another pain in the ass thing. We have enough room to get this sucker in here now. This will be fun if I have to take this all apart again. <laughs> Damn it. Why did I not see that or think of that? Got a zip tie for strain relief in there. Well, I just put that zip tie on there and I realized I'm gonna run extra wires for the PIR, which I probably just should have done right now to get done with it, but I don't really have a plan for that yet. Needing to wrap this up tonight, I'm just about had it, so I'll just uh, situate the PIR right here for right now and hopefully it'll see me. That is the project box. Quick disconnects with uh, this. Music can disconnect from here. that so the box is uh, portable now just grab the power supply grab this uh, thing I can go take it back up if I need to reprogram it let's see if the shit still works well my video camera battery died so recording this last little bit with my cell phone you can hear the ambient playing I've been triggering off this PIR sensor just by walking around out here in the basement well, there we go Everything's working. But you can really hear that, uh, that cl on those relays switch. I don't know why that is. I'm gonna have to ask on the forums. Some kind of interference coming from the relays. Um, I suppose if it's loud enough, you're probably not gonna hear it on Halloween night. This is gonna be cranked all the way up, so probably won't be all that noticeable, but nevertheless, I'd like to know why that's happening. We'll hear it right here. Let's see. I think it has to do with these. Okay. And these, you know, go right into each other. Make me a liar thing. I'm starting to get a little sick of this. <laughs> oh, this video is so bad. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm just not into it today. Fuck it. Let's get it done. See, I'm already done it wrong. No, yes, I have because I need to cut the hole in this first. So stupid. So bad. Fail. Take me 20 hours to do a stupid little project. <laughs> I can't pile any more shit on this workspace. I don't think it's possible. I don't know if you can tell the tone of my voice, but I am not. Enjoying this tonight. <laughs> I am thinking about going upstairs, putting on some Netflix, not doing this shit. That's what it is tonight. Shit. <laughs>